Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Capricorn. This is going to be for your first half of your April from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see uh, what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read what the outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. You can switch to roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you take a look at your other placements keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. All right. So Capricorn, tell me about Capricorn in love. Tell me about Capricorn in love. Over energies for Capricorn regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here with the Ace of Swords that uh, flipped over here. Ace of Swords, the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, you know, someone here has gone into Hermit mode to seek the truth here. Maybe seek their truth, to seek their truth path here, because I do feel like we have someone here that's single, okay? Someone here is just single, doing their own thing, doing them, you know, seeking balance here, seeking more to life, okay? When it comes to love, I do feel like someone here is definitely holding back. I do feel like someone here is definitely overcoming their fears here, okay? You know, whatever illusions, whatever confusions that someone here is dealing with, I feel like someone here is definitely finding some sort of clarity here or that someone here is, you know, having a major breakthrough here. Ten of Wands. What we have here is I feel like, you know, Capricorn, you could be shedding a lot of layers here. You know, I feel like you could be stepping away from the pain and the hurt that you've dealt with here. Because I feel like someone here might be feeling low self-worth and they feel like it could be a past situation where someone here had like an emotional mental beat down here from somebody let's see tell me about the person that that capricorn is dealing with here what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards capricorn what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards capricorn for um the first half of their April from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. You know, I don't feel like there's anyone in the picture because I feel like someone here is focusing on themselves. We have the full card here, Aries energy and Aquarius energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Ten of Pentacles here, and the Chariot, Cancer energy. And then we have the Ace of Wands here and the Two of Cups. There's new love coming in for you. Whoever this is, this person is definitely secretly admiring you or that they're if they're not secretly admiring you they're just admiring you this person's curious about you they want to know more about you this person might see a future here with you you know they might be you know in this energy of making a decision wanting to move towards higher levels of commitment or that you know they have the intentions to do that but also at the same time they want to you know get the chance to know you to see if this is a good fit Okay, the chariot here, cancer energy, ace of wands here, and the two of cups. There's a passionate new beginning that's happening here. One of the things I'm getting here is that this person can be younger than you. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be that, you know, this person might be older, your age, and they just maybe, they, they have a very childlike energy. Tell me about the full card. Tell me about the full card here. We have the nine of swords. Tell me about the page of swords here, page of swords. And the five of swords here, you know what? It, it could be a situation, I'm looking at the bottom of the deck here. It could be a situation that someone here is coming towards you from your past with the six of cups, the uh, six, uh, six of cups, the nine of swords here and the five of swords, or this person that you're meeting is a past life soulmate. And this is an individual that is playing, they could be playing a lot of games here. They could be playing a lot of games here, which will stress you out. You know, I feel like as soon as you see these red flags, I feel like you're just out the door here, Capricorn. The Ten of Pentacles here, yeah, there's a there's there's new love coming in for you here. The Cherry and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. I feel like this could happen sometime in Gemini season or in Cancer season, okay? Which is like May, June, July. Yeah, May, June, July. Yeah, there's definitely new love coming in. 
So the Magician, Gemini, Virgo here, Ace of Wands. You know, it could be that if this person does come back towards you, you're leaving this person behind. You know, you're just moving towards somebody new. Six of Pentacles here and the Ace of Wands. Two of Cups here and the Queen of Wands here. There's someone here more mature that's coming in for you. This is a fiery individual. This is a feisty individual. This is an incredibly fiercely independent individual here. So I feel like you don't have to worry about, you know, constantly tending this person because this person can stand up on their own here okay so yes there is there's a passionate new beginning coming in for you this person is just incredibly attracted to you or that this person is incredibly attractive okay so uh what else do we have here for capricorn regarding their love situation what else does capricorn need to know look out for work on here for the first half of their april from the first to the 15th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. We have the Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups. We have the Moon here, Cancer, Pisces, and the Four of Wands, and the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands. Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. I feel like when you mind your own business and you do your own thing, that is when your wish fulfillment will come in. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. We have a Moon card here and the Four of Wands here. This is interesting because I feel like this is going to force someone or force the both of you guys to do shadow work here together. You know, it could be a very healing connection here. We have a page of cups here and the, uh, uh, and the page of wands. So, uh, you know, it could be a situation that I see you two having children with this individual here in the future, perhaps two. All right. Tell me about the four swords. The Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, Knight of Cups here and the Three of Wands. Someone here is definitely seeing a future here with you, Capricorn. Could be meeting a fire sign. Strong fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Three of Wands. The Moon. The Five of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. And the Emperor here. Aries energy. Seems like someone here is definitely conquering their fears here. You know, it could be that you're overcoming this, um, this hurt and this pain that you've been dealing with or that you've been healing here. And I feel like you're ready to step up to the plate. You're ready for this new thing that's coming in. You're ready for this new person that's coming in for you. Uh, tell me more. The Hierophant, the Page of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Page of Wands here. Seems like you guys are, you know, a good fit here. Perhaps you guys are on the same page when it comes to your morals and your values here. I do feel like this is an individual that's incredibly, incredibly traditional. With a Wheel of Fortune here and the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that new love coming in for you and they do feel like this is going to work out pretty well so capricorn i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like share comment subscribe and i'll speak to you guys in the next one all right thanks guys bye